So six months left for CAT 2020. I realized that there are some things I'm lagging at and with the way I was preparing at that time, I wouldn't have reached a 99 percentile. At that point of time, I also remembered something from a few years ago about my JE preparation journey and how I couldn't make it just because of the few minutes every day that I didn't give. I was sure that I wasn't going to let that happen this time and I had to give it my all. For the past year at Inside IIM, we have been conducting one-on-one -on -one career coaching sessions as counsel, short domain-specific courses as masterclasses, and university-affiliated certificate programs. Now, we are extremely excited to announce that we have a new home for all these highly rated programs in altuni.in. So, if you are looking to earn a high salary, get a promotion, switch jobs, click on the link in the description or just visit altuni.in. Thank you, enjoy the video, and... Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update. Cheers. Hi, I am Neha Chaudhary. I am currently in the fourth year of computer engineering at Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune. Uh, my profile is 94.8% in 10th, 87.1% in HSC 12th, and a 9.29 CGPA in BTEC. I scored a 99.37 percentile in CAT 2020, and I have converted IIM indoor. I never really thought I would be doing an MBA earlier. I was pretty sad that I would be doing an MS and taking up a job abroad. But when I was in third year, I started to actually think about whether I'm doing the right thing. And I realized that I felt more inclined towards the business domains. The options I had were MIM, MBA. So before even knowing what the selection criteria or procedure was, I had made up my mind that I want to make it to one of the best B schools in India. That is uh, when I started looking at what CAT exactly is. I was really happy to know that it was an aptitude test. That was something I always enjoyed doing. So I went ahead and picked up a book. I started solving it without looking at uh, any concept videos. And I saw that I would solve most of the questions without much uh, help. So that was kind of an assurance that, that I have the base in place and what I had to do was just unlearn a few things and relearn them the cat way. At that point of time, I also remembered something from a few years ago about my JE preparation journey and how I couldn't make it just because of the few minutes extra every day that I didn't give. And I was sure that I wasn't going to let that happen this time. And I had to give it my all. I started waking up at 5 o'clock uh, in the morning every day. I used to set daily targets each night for the next day and that really helped me boost my breath. I started giving mocks in June itself. I had joined two mock test series and from the first mock I gave I realized that I'm not able to handle the time pressure in, during the examination and not able to perform to my full potential during the exam. So I made sure that I gave enough mocks to overcome that pressure and fear and I didn't want it to be a big deal. So my daily schedule included uh, some time for each of the three sections. For quant I used to watch concept videos, watch, watch, some, uh, watch different methods of solving and I used to implement them by solving at least 20 to 30 questions each day. For DILR, I solved three to four sets uh, every day. And most of these sets were from previous year mocks, uh, which ensured that I'm solving a variety of questions from each and every topic. For VRC, I used to solve at least two to three RCs every day. And I made sure that I'm reading a few articles of different uh, topics so that I'm comfortable reading any topic. I also experimented with a lot of exam taking strategies. Each mock I used to try something different and assess uh, whether it's working for me or not and that is probably the reason why my mock scores used to fluctuate a lot. But in the end mock scores is not something you will ever see. From the mock analysis I also used to understand which topics I have to work on. If uh, I had some issues with the concept I used to go back to those concept videos, watch them all over again, solve some uh, questions again and again. A few things that I 
thing helped me throughout my journey was um, maintaining consistency, being positive all throughout the ups and downs, not letting mock scores affect me. I knew that I had to take a, take the learnings from them, and that was what mocks were all about. It was meant for ex experimenting, and if something didn't work, if I scored low uh, on some test, I had to see why it didn't work, and I had to make sure that I don't include it in my final strategy. All I did was the uh, learning, relearning, unlearning. All was based on uh, how I was performing in my mocks. In November, I was pretty confident that I could score a 99 plus percentile even though uh, throughout all the mocks I gave I scored about 99 percentile only in two mocks but I somehow just felt very energized and I had a very positive feeling that I could do well uh, on the final day and although I went in the CAT uh, exam hall with just three hours of sleep the previous night I made sure that I maintained uh, my composure and I just made sure I'm, I followed all the strategies that I had decided uh, previously. Although I did uh, make some mistakes in quant because I just tweaked my strategy on uh, in the end a little so that cost me a few marks but uh, I think that's also a learning for all of you that uh, just go in the exam hall and don't change the strategy that you have finalized. Be flexible but uh, make sure that you don't change your strategies a lot. When you're preparing, uh, make sure that you know yourself. You understand yourself, what topics you are good at, what topics you are not good at, what you need to work on, how you need to work on it, what strategies are suiting you the best. Don't blindly follow the strategies that you'll see online because they might have worked for some people but they might not necessarily work for you. So experiment a lot in mocks while practicing. Experiment with the strategies, the methods of solving and see what is working for you and that is what you have to do on the final day. All the practice that we are doing is just to prepare ourselves for the CAT day. Have a positive mindset throughout your preparation. Don't uh, underestimate yourself. Just believe in yourself that you can do it. 